Hey guys, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be planning the week of November 9th. I'm going to be using a kit from Alexandra Nicole Plans. It is kit nine and it's a super cute like owl kit. Super cute, it reminds me very much of Vera Bradley. And then I do have the headers and the washi, a couple of my stickers. And then I am going to be including this washi from, I think it's from Michaels, I'm pretty sure. Um, so there is that. You guys, another week down after the longest, <laughs> the longest week ever. I don't know how you guys are faring with all of the election stuff. I'm hoping that by the time this video goes up, everything is done. I'm just at the point where I'm consuming so much information, social media stuff. Like I'm, I felt I'm like done. <laughs> so, but it is interesting to see all the news and everything like that, but I'm just, I'm overstimulated with all this information. So, okay. So I put this washi down. I may just tear it. Cause I feel like when I use my little cutter guy, sometimes like I'm just, I guess not the best and I feel like I never cut it straight okay that time worked also I'm I still have slight horror from <laughs> that week where I accidentally chopped straight through my planner so but it'll be okay so I'm very excited for a new week like I said hopefully by the time this goes up all of the election stuff is I know that's gonna take a while I'm not gonna be like, oh, okay, once it's over, it's over. Like, I know it's not just gonna be said and done. There's gonna, you know, but I'm hoping for like something <laughs> or I just really need to just not be on any form of technology is really where I'm at, so. But I'm very, I think I'm gonna use this skinny shirt too. I'm just so excited because this week is the baby shower week. So I know I've just been saying like the baby shower, the baby shower. And I hope my sister doesn't mind me saying this, but it is my sister who's having a, a baby. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just very excited. It's the first grandkid on my side of the family. So we are all very, very excited. Very excited for them. And I'm so excited for this baby shower. I am... I finished up, I had to create a game myself and I made it a lot more complicated than it really needed to be because I was just like, I don't know what mode I was in, but I was like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. And then when I finally finished it la a few days ago, um, I can never find the beginning of Washi. Is this it? Yeah. Um, I realized like I had made it into some complicated thing so I'm just happy that that's over the boxes that I sent out to my family um so how I did the baby shower I mean it's different it's a virtual baby shower it's just like our family that's doing it our immediate family and so what I did as the host is I wanted everyone to kind of feel like we were in the same room so what I did is just like a regular baby shower, you buy decorations, you have a theme. I did that. And so what I did is then I created boxes for each of the families. And so what I did then is, you know, if we used certain plates, everyone got the same plates, you know, napkins and cups and things like that. So it felt like you were in the same spot. And I was just worried because how mail has been lately, it's <laughs> been a pain in the butt. So I sent it out in hopes that I was like, as long as it gets there before, you know, the shower, I'm okay. Thankfully they all made their, made it to their destination safely. So that's all that really mattered. I was just so nervous. I was like, what if it doesn't get there? What if it gets lost? But no worries there. And now it's just the wait. So, 
Speaking of mail issues, I ordered some stuff from Sarah Marie Stickers and this is one of the shops, not, and it's not her shop specifically because it's happening to a lot of shops, but um, I'm only saying this because this is the last place I ordered from. <laughs> But I'm the USPS struggle is real. So I'm just hoping that it makes it there. Mine's been sitting in pre-transit for like almost a week now. Um, and, you know, I've contacted her and asked her just like kind of like what, you know, I just wanted to make sure for me, like, because I know one knew maybe she was busy and maybe like if they still hadn't gotten shipped out. But from shopping with her previously, like she does an ama amazing job of like getting stuff out super quick. So, first off, I love that. So I didn't think it was necessarily her, but I just wanted to check to make sure. And so she was just, you know, letting me know that this has been happening a lot, which I had already heard from a lot of people, like I've, on Instagram and stuff like that, that their stuff has been delayed, which is one of the reasons why I was like, okay, it's just now it's happening to me. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that it, it makes it there because, or makes it there, makes it here because I would really like my stuff. I ordered some budgeting items because we've been having our little budget meetings and we have some goals, you guys. Uh, right now it's mainly just to pay off debt, but <laughs> we have some goals and, you know, accomplishing them. So I'm currently using, um, I had created my own like, budget template type of thing so where like I list my, like you know our expenses and things like that and just kind of show like the, it's our actual budget I just created it on an excel and that's kind of, I print it out because I have to do it on paper but the one thing that I think I struggle with the most is I don't necessarily go back and check in I just like okay by the time I get paid again like what you know what have we like did I overspend or did I not spend? Like, I just don't know because I just never kept track of it. And I know that's one of the biggest things with budgeting is like making sure you're like checking in because I mean, if you don't check in and like you've just gone off the deep end like I can do and just have been spending, you're not gonna know. So I've gone back, I have an EC mm, Deluxe Monthly. I don't think that's what they're called anymore, but that's what I've been using before I created my Excel, but now I'm going back in and the like checking in weekly and things like that because I'm just trying to get the bigger picture because like I said, you can you can budget and do all that, but if you're not checking in, you're not gonna know what you're up to that week, if you know what I mean. So I'm just trying to, to track better. Because out of the two of us, I'm definitely the uh, <laughs> little spunder. Surprise, surprise. Um, but I've also been doing a lot better when it comes to spending. I never know how I'm going to cut this end. Mm, I have been doing a lot better. My original goal for 2020 was to do a no spend. And it was going well until COVID hit because then I just started to spend emotionally so the struggle hit me there did i leave enough space yeah okay perfect so i'm just kind of trying to get back to that and not buy things until we actually need things and using up the things we have because i have a ton of things not only just stickers but like i i okay so here's the thing that i'm also struggling with while i'm like telling you guys i have a lot of stuff I struggle with wanting to have a stockpile because I like being prepared. I like knowing that, you know, if let's, you know, for some odd reason we have a tough month or, you know, we can't get out or whatever the reason is, I just like having some stock, some stuff stocked up. And I'm not saying like I need a year supply of things, but like one or two backups of, you know, shampoo, toothpaste, you know, body wash, things like that is what I'm talking about. Um, so, but I'm struggling with the, do I continue to keep that stockpile or do I just need to work on what exactly, just like 
make it more of like, okay, we need exactly one thing of shampoo. That's all we need in the house type of thing. I don't know. Let me know. How do you guys do it? Do you guys stick to just buying, buying and using exactly what you need? Or do you like to keep a little bit of a stock of some of your items? Because, you know, with COVID, <laughs> especially with COVID, like we've realized that not keeping a stock of certain things, like you, it, you can't, you know what I mean? Because then by the time you actually have to go out and get stuff, there's it's nowhere to be found. So that's what I'm struggling with is that I think I do want to keep a small stockpile. Henry does. He just feels safer that way. Like, I, I just think I just need to, like, not go overboard and just set the limit as, like, we have a, a two extra of every item that we would, like, need and then leave it at that. So I don't know. We'll see. But we're getting back into that, making sure we're checking in weekly with what we're spending and what we're doing. And hopefully, um, you know, we're able to accomplish some of our goals. I mean, I stayed very true to what I was going to do uh, this past month in October. And, I was, and we were able to put like 1500 probably a little bit more than $1,500 towards a debt. And that's amazing. Um, so that's what we're just trying to keep up with. So let me know what your ideas are because your girl needs to do better. <laughs> okay, so this is so far what it looks like. I really like the washi and I really like the headers. I think it's super cute. Like I said, it gives me Vera Bradley vibes and I love that. I was obsessed with Vera Bradley when I was younger. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this super cute box up over here. All right, should I, I probably should white it out, but I don't really want to white it out. It's moving, It my binder, my binder, my planner is getting so thick that sometimes it's a little bit harder to put some stuff down. Oh, I completely forgot about that line at the bottom, but perfect. I really love this little owl thing. It's super cute. Okay. I think, I don't, I have so much washi over here. I'm trying to do my best to use up all the washi that I have just because, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting the most out of my, my sticker kit. Let me know, when you guys use sticker kits and you guys get down to certain, are there certain stickers that you just won't keep? Like for me, uh, back in the day, I don't know, I think they might have added them again. I remember from Planner Kate, they would have like dot stickers. Those I would never use and those I just came, like, I decided, I was like, okay, you're not going to use it, like, get over it. Just throw it away, so. And then I think I'm gonna use a this week sticker. Perfect. Okay. Um, oh, there is a to do. I don't know why I didn't think there was a to do. Oh no, the sticker. Okay. I think instead of putting, yeah, I'm just gonna cover that one dot and leave it at to do. Keep it super simple. Okay. Let me zoom in just a hair. Okay, so. Dentist. We finally, or Henry finally rescheduled his dentist appointment um, from the day we had the really bad storm. So I think I'm gonna do, okay. I'm just gonna do a dentist and look I'm pulling a munchkin super cute I don't even know if that other one was in frame y'all I'm like just in plan mode right now but oh I've been starting using my pilot again and I forget how I don't know if this is a weird thought to think of but it's juicy <laughs> like it's I don't know I forget and then like I'm shaking it so it dries. And then I forget and then I just like put it down and then I smear everywhere. So I've been trying to do a little bit better job of drying it off. A little too 
tooth man. There we go. Okay, I think that's it for Monday. Uh, let me quickly put in these to do's, which I normally never do on camera, but I figured I would just add it. There's so many pens I want to buy, but I have like, whoops. This is not even all the pens I have. Um, I just have a ton because I was in that space and time where everyone said buy these pens and I bought all the pens. So I hope I'll remember that's this monitor. So now I have a ton of pens I don't need. <laughs> that's okay. I'm just trying to make sure I use them up. All right. I think I think it's hard because sometimes I just want to put the like if it's trash day or something like right here, but I don't want to mess with a washi because I think it's super cute. So I'm just gonna put it on a label. We forgot trash, oh, I already told you guys. We forgot trash day like a week ago, two weeks ago. So also today while we were eating breakfast, um, today's Sunday, while we were eating breakfast, we were like, oh dang, we've, we're married. <laughs> Which is funny. Um, we've actually, we've been married for like a week, almost a week and not a week. Wow, a month and a week. It's almost a month and a week. But it was just funny because we were both like, oh yeah, that's a thing. So, okay, I'm gonna leave this one uh, as just the sticky note because we need to get a cupcake. So what we're, our goal is and what we told everyone else for the baby shower, except my sister, well, I have two sisters, but except for the one that's the baby shower's for, we told everyone else to just pick up a cupcake or whatever kind of dessert they want to use to celebrate. Um, and we ordered them a cake. So I hope it turns out okay because I'm like really nervous um, that it's gonna be gross. But I think the hard part is they're across the country, so making sure everything is good is kind of hard. But we asked for their recommendation of like a bakery they like and things like that because they're vegan and, you know, wanted to make sure that what we got them was something that they would eat. So it's from a, sh a bakery they like, which is perfect. But still, it it's, makes it a lot more nerve wracking I think it would be different if like she was here and then everyone else was virtual. That would be different because then I feel like it'd be easier to do like that baby shower part here and not worry so much because then I could go pick things up and just make sure that everything is um, right. But now it's just kind of like making sure everything's made it and you know, everyone's connected and everything like that. So we're fine. We're gonna, we're gonna do a okay. I actually don't know if we're gonna do our regular FaceTime just because we're gonna FaceTime the day before, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in anyways. And then if not, then we'll just put a sticker over it. Okay, and then is that it? No, okay, I need to put a weekend sticker. I think I'm gonna layer the rest of this washi. I'm gonna, I'm a layer. Okay, let's see. Okay. This might be really dramatic for the weekend, but <laughs> I'm here for it right now just because it's fun. Oh, I feel like I did that way too hard. Okay. These little owls are so stinking cute. Okay. Okay. All the washi together in one spot and I forgot one last thing. I, needed, I thought this was the end. This is why sometimes I question myself. I'm like, what are you doing? Okay, and then I do have to film. I'm hoping to film the Saturday of the baby shower and just get all of that 
over with because honestly, I feel like Sunday I'm just going to want to relax because I'm putting so much pressure on myself on this. Like I know, I hope that they love it, but I just, I want it to be perfect for them. All right, so I'm gonna leave that as cupcakes. I don't know what we're gonna pick up, probably cupcakes, but I don't know what kind or if we're just gonna grab something. I kinda wanted to make some, but then the problem comes with I, I don't wanna have I don't know how many, how many cupcakes are in a batch, like 24. I don't want to have that many cupcakes in the house, so. All right, so that is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I really love this owl print. It really reminds me of Vera Bradley. I love the bottom washi and doing all this, and then the extra weekend section. I'm living for it. Absolutely love this. Not that much is going on this week, but I feel like it's going to feel like a lot, even though we've finished all the actual work for the baby shower now it's just checking in and making sure everything is confirmed like with the bakery and all that stuff so i'm so ready i'm so ready to celebrate it's gonna be an amazing time i'm so so excited so with that if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos and i'll catch you guys next time bye